Just like it. All righty. We're here with head coach Casey Stoney. We will go ahead and kick it off right there. Hey, Casey. Great win tonight. I feel like there's so many things to talk about, but I want to focus on the, the substitutions with Shaw and Sanchez and the dynamic of the offense seems to change. And dare I say that both of some tiki taka there uh, that influenced it. What did you see in the offense in the second half? Changed. Yeah, I think obviously you got to give credit to with the players that were on to start with because I thought they wore down the opponent and I thought Kieran was excellent at coming to feet and trying to hold it up and link the play. Mackenzie had listen, that's a brilliant finish. First, you know, first goal's fantastic from her, so she's had an incredible impact. And I thought Maya for a, for a debut was excellent. You know, she's got that raw potential and she got us up the pitch and she got one v one and she was really positive. I thought she excited the crowd. And then it was time for a change. I could see that Kira was getting a lot of the ball to feet and I felt Jaden could get in between those spaces and start creating. But Maria's got quality to be able to, you know, play down the outside, come in the pocket and play. And then, you know, Elise had a very clear objective of getting behind the fullback. Um, and the second goal is probably the best football I've ever seen us play that's resulted in a goal. You know, one and two touch, quality, speed, arrival in the box, something like I, I as a coach, enjoyed that immensely. I also enjoyed our combative defending just as much at times because I thought we had to do that a lot. They've got a really potent attacking line, a lot of threat. Um, and again, I thought our back line stood up to that well. Uh, Casey, it seems like the starting eleven really caught Bay FC uh, by surprise in the first 15 minutes. What came to the conclusion of having this starting eleven? Lots of reasons. Um, performances last week, plus looking after a couple of people, plus injuries. Um, we lost Alex, Sophia and Abby. Um, it's no coincidence off the back of an international trip and having two away games. There's a, quite a lot of stress there for players. Um, I thought Kimmy came in and did excellent and I wanted to get her into the game, see how she could play in midfield and keep the ball. And I thought she did really well at times and at times she looked 16. So that's going to take time. Um, but. I thought for her debut in terms of starting, she was she was excellent. And I thought we played some really good stuff in the first half. Um, and we deserved the lead. It was a shame that we conceded the way we did to let them back in. But they're a good side. They're going to score goals. So uh, most importantly tonight, it was about three points and getting those on the board to build into next weekend. Casey, uh, what are you plans with Maria Sanchez? Uh, are you planning to put her in the middle? Or as a winger in the other matches, or uh, how do you plan to use it? We'll have to see. Like, what did you say about her skills? And oh, listen, she's got a wonderful left foot. You know, she's very good 1v1. She's a creative player. You know, she's got an unbelievable delivery, what massively add to our armour. And I thought she was good when she came on, um, considering she's only been in for two days. So, yeah, I think having her is an asset to us. And we're going to have a headache. When we have the whole squad uh, uh, ready, uh, what can you say now after the game? Big headache, um, which is what I want. I want competition in all places. And I think we're getting that now. Um, we want to make sure we've got to have speed on the field as well as being able to play. I thought we mixed it up today and had a good combination of both. Uh, Casey, can you talk a little bit more about my you know? She looked like she had been playing with gear with, with that team for the last They've year. trained well together this week. Um, we've seen what Maya's capable of in training. It was just finding the right opportunity for her to put her in. And I thought she did well. I think, you know, she's got a lot to learn about going on the outside sometimes as well as coming on the inside and when to run in behind and when to use a pace and speed. Um, but I thought she had an outstanding debut. You know, for someone that's never played in this league, it's very fast, uh, it's quick. She's got lots to learn, but I'm really pleased with her. Yeah, massive. I think we were more like us today. And we didn't show us last week at all. And every player and member of staff was disappointed in all of our performances. I thought we showed grit, we showed determination and we had to battle. I thought Kennedy Wesley was outstanding at the back and got thrown in at about 7pm last night. She found out she was playing. So, you know, I think we... We've blocked shots, we've been in and around it. Um, I think we can possibly keep the ball better when they have momentum and get a little bit more pressure higher up. But 
I think, yeah, that, they're a tough team. They're, I think they've done an outstanding job to build what they have in such a short space of time, and they'll cause a lot of teams' problems this season. This season, like, with all the different lineups that you've experimented with this season, what do you think the identity of the team is going forward in the rest of the year? I think possession with a purpose. You know, we can't keep possession for possession's sake. We've got to keep possession to play forward, and we've got to hurt the opponent. I think there's been times where maybe we've just overplayed a little and we haven't had a threat that's that's hurt the opponent. I thought today we, we did that. We're always going to be dogged and resilient in our defending. You're going to need to because every team in this league has got a threat. Um, so we just need to keep building. Yeah, I think the team's changed um, week in, week out, which is something that I suppose people don't want or do want, depending on, you know, the, I think it's great for the players. They have opportunities every week. But we need to get some sort of consistency and rhythm. So we haven't been answered about that anyway tonight because we had three, three of the players that played last week out injured. And you said that this was one of the versions of the team that, that looked great. What is it about this, this team today that is... I think tempo. We played with, when we moved the ball, we moved it quick. We played with tempo, we played with quality. We had threats that could go 1v1. We played between lines. We had a variation of the way we could play. Um, and that, that pleased me most. Um, and obviously, defensively, we had a few few troubles in fullback areas that you know, good players are going to cause you. So we've got to do a bit of work on that. But yeah, I think what impressed this second goal was for me something that I will remember for a while. Can you provide any uh, context on how it as it relates to the answers to people wondering about Cambria or Pettis, her ability? As far as I know, um, from all of the opinions she's had so far, the, opinion, the Olympics won't be an issue for her. Hi. Uh, you jumped to it like an end of the US Men uh, two years ago, and now with some players from Europe, uh, and also those who are coming to the play race. What do you, why do you think this is happening? The crowds, the different competition here, the, the, the way you have to tactically change so much as well and I think it tests you more as a coach because the game is so fast and so competitive. Um, you, you see every week it, there's not really massive score lines, um, it's one or two goal margins, it's fine margins, it's you know top can beat bottom, bottom can beat top. Um, last year there was 10 teams I believe on the last day of the season still competed for the playoffs. So I think actually the speed and the competition, I think players have come here because it prepares them better for international football because of the level and the speed you play. And hopefully we can bring even more talent into the league. And it would be interesting once all the coaches are here um, to see how the league is going to evolve. After a battle-tested effort and a victory tonight, how do you then bottle this to move it on to next week and then a midweek match against an opponent? I go home and have a big glass of wine. Uh, <laughs> I think it's we still there's still a lot of areas to improve. So it's bottling the bits around the grit and the really good pieces of play, and then reviewing where we can be even better. We've got quite a short turnaround now in terms of like travelling to Seattle, playing away, uh, and just making sure that we recover the players as best as possible, uh, recognising where we can play and and how we can play, and then obviously picking a team that we think is right to to go to Seattle and get a result. Um, you just with this being the first hotel to work out. Dynamic play in any part of tonight's game, or just um, how is that like to pick them up here? No, not at all. Um, it was just win. Can we win? You know, we've had a bit of an un unsteady start, you know, especially after last week, to build belief and confidence back into the team. I think getting three points was really important. I didn't really care who was out there today. Any other questions? Yeah, actually, I'm curious about what you told Sean and Ben before they were subbed on. Like, obviously, whoever it was, but clearly were. Yeah, I think, I think obviously, you know, I have to make it clear tonight was about protecting Jane a little bit. She's had a lot of games, a lot of attention, a lot of things going on in a short space of time. Um, so it's about protecting her and it was then about giving her the ability to go on and, you know, have an impact. I just said to her, you know, they're pressing on this side. Can you roll? Can you come off? Can you get in between pockets and cause problems? And to release it was getting behind. If Sav gets on return, if Jaden gets on return, can you get him behind the fullback um, and use what she's good at, which is she's, she's strong and quick and she's powerful. So 
yeah, that's not on me, that's on them going into the game with the, the mindset to, to make a difference and that's why they call game changers because they change the game. Perfect. Thanks everybody. Thanks Thank Tracy. you.